Awesome. Hello, Diego. Congratulations on the goal. Uh, uh, how did that feel just to see that one go down? Yeah, no, it was exciting. And and I think it was, it was more importantly, just cool to, you know, help the team get the, the goal away and, and start the game off. Right. So yeah, it was it's exciting. And I kind of like freaked out for a little bit, didn't know what to do for the Sally, but it was cool. And then I'm sure, I'm sure there's no easy answer to this one. But um, what is it about this team, especially right now, that has you guys playing so well on the road? Yeah, I think it's just the mentality that the team has. I think we we just grind and we got that underdog mentality where we go into every game with just, you know, just the, the grit and stuff. And I think that's what is helping us away and, and at home. But I think we're just lacking a little bit in the final third. And I think you see we create chances and we just need to be more clinical and these games can be, be put away a lot easier. And then lastly, how did it feel to see uh, Demir get, get, a, get a pair of goals as well as someone I'm sure that you, you've learned a lot from just in your short time here? Yeah, no, it was, it was good to see that. And I think for him, especially coming back from injury and, and this year he's 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 flying. And I think it's it's good to see that. And, and especially as a, someone I look up to and a leader on the team, it's, it's good to see his success. Awesome. Thank you. Yep. Sydney, your line's open. Hey, Diego, congratulations on the win. Um, I believe that's, um, I think, five in a row and beating for you all you know, at this current point in time. Uh, right now, as the standings look, seventh in the Western Conference. Uh, do you feel that right now maybe RSL aren't getting a lot of credit um, around league circles, or do you feel that you're right where you need to be right now? I think for us as the players, I don't think we, we focus a lot on, on what they're talking about outside on social media and stuff like that. So I think for us, it's just about, you know, grinding and, and letting our talking on the field. So I think that's what it's about for us. But I think everyone can can talk about what they want, but it's just whatever happens on the field is what matters. It, you personally, how do you keep this going for yourself? Um, still, you know, with a little less than half of the season to go, how do you continue kind of the run of form that you're in right now I think it's just doing what I'm doing and, and having fun I think I'm having fun my confidence is there and I think it's just about keeping the the mentality right and keeping my mindset on bad days on good days just keeping you know staying strong and on a on a good slope all right appreciate it great with yeah. you Sean your line's open yeah, Diego, uh, just, I just wanted to follow up a little bit from uh, when, when we talked on Monday, um, you talked about how your season's kind of begun, sort of begun anew yeah. in a lot of ways because you're, you're, Pat, you're through with the World Cup yep. and all of that stuff, and now you're getting consistent minutes starting the game and that kind of thing. <laughs> Did, do you still feel that way a little bit? And was this goal a little bit of like, a, hey, welcome to 2023, welcome to MLS for you? Yeah, I think, you know, last year was was me, you know, dipping my fingers in the water. And I think this year was a very difficult start as, you know, I was away almost every month for about 11, 10 days. So I think, yeah, I think for me, it's like my season did begin, you know, after I came back from the World Cup, I can solely focus on on RSL and not worry about where I'm going to be next weekend or, you know, stuff that's going to happen. So I think it's, it is, you know, beginning for me. And I think I'm, I'm feeling good. And I'm glad that, you know, after this World Cup, I came with came back with confidence and I'm feeling good. So I'm excited. Congratulations, Diego. Thank you. Uh, Diego, I do have to ask the two assists um, equally as massive as, uh, as as your maybe not to you, but pretty massive uh, in comparison to your goal. Kind of talk me through what you got, what the game plan was, because not only were your passes spot on, but uh, it felt like it was a really, especially that second goal was a team goal that it, yeah. there were 13 passes leading up to it. Kind of walk me through those, those two goals from your perspective. Yeah, I think it's, it's a lot about just the team chemistry and how we, we want to play and move, pass and move. You know, I ended up on the on the right wing side, and it's just about filling, you know, filling the spots and people having freedom, but also organized. So I think it's all about just the guys and and the chemistry we have built and we're and we're building. So I think it's good and just the the yeah the mentality we have where we can pass and move and everybody knows you know their roles and what to do when when in different positions. So it all comes down to that, and then also being good on the ball, and that's I think what we're improving on game by game. Awesome, Alex. Do you have a question? Hey Diego, first and foremost, uh, 
congratulations on the on the big game that you had. Um, what's kind of changed for you over the course of the last couple months um, coming back from that World Cup? Is it just the confidence that you received going to Argentina, or what's really changed for you and your motivation for uh, for this side? I think it was a lot of things, but I think it was the the mentality and the the mental state that I was at was the was the biggest thing. Knowing that I could you know solely focus at RSL and knowing that everything before was kind of the big preparation for was for that U twenty World Cup. And um, getting through that was, you know, I had a good performance there. So that's that's why I got to focus on that and everything leading up to that. And now I have that in behind me and now everything's focused to, on RSL. So it's having that that clear mind is, is, I think, what's helping me the most and just being able to have fun and, and get the opportunity and do what I know I can do. Now that you're having so much success um, playing these MLS minutes, what's kind of your personal goals for the rest of the year? Do you have any number of goals that you want to reach? Any any specific number of assists that you want to reach for this team? Yeah, I think, of course, as many as I can get and as many assists and goals as th- that I can get. But I think um, putting a number on it, I'd like to get to double digits and it's, you know, getting half a season. And if I continuously get the the minutes and opportunities, then I think it's just about me taking, taking what I can get and doing like, like today and continuing to do that on a, on the chances I get. So it's all up to that. Awesome. Thanks, Diego. Yep. Diego, congrats again. We'll see you back in Sandy. Thank you.